Hi everyone, Michael Cavaccini here with your Book Daily Deal. Today, I'm going to be talking about a very interesting book. It's Heat 2 by Michael Mann and Meg Gardner. Heat 2 is a sequel to the movie Heat, which is pretty fascinating. I frankly do not know of any uh, movie sequel that was strictly a book. Now, I guess this could turn into a movie as well, but as of right now, it's just a book. Al Pacino... Val Kilmer, Robert De Niro are all still alive. But for whatever reason, Michael Mann said, hey, I'm going to write the sequel as a, a novel. And he did. So let's uh, dig in here a little bit to learn more about what exactly is this novel all about. So here's the publisher's summary. Michael Mann, four-time Oscar-nominated writer, director of The Last of the Mohicans, The Insider, Ali, Miami Vice, Collateral, and Heat, teams up with Edgar Award winner... Edgar Award-winning author Meg Gardner to deliver Mann's first novel, an explosive return to the universe and characters of his classic crime film, with an all-new story unfolding in the years before and after the iconic movie. Here's a quote from James Patterson. Heat 2 is now one of my favorite suspense novels. I'm already quoting lines from Heat 2 to my writer friends, shamelessly saying the lines are mine. One day after the end of Heat, Chris, Val Kilmer's character, is holed up in Koreatown, wounded, half delirious, and desperately trying to escape L.A. Hunting him is LAPD detective Vincent Hanna, Al Pacino. Hours earlier, Hanna killed uh, Kilmer's brother in arms, Neil Macaulay De Niro in a gunfight under the strobe lights at the foot of an LAX runway. Now Hanna's determination to capture or kill Salerius, uh, the last survivor of Macaulay's crew, before he ghosts out of the city. In 1988, seven years earlier, Macaulay, Salerius, and the Highline crew are taking scores on the West Coast, the U.S.-Mexican border, and now in Chicago. Uh, driven, daring, they're pulling in money, and living vivid lives. And Chicago homicide detective Vincent Hanna, a man unrecoiled with his history, is following his calling, the pursuit of armed and dangerous men into the dark and wild places, hunting an ultra-violent gang of home invaders. Meanwhile, the fallout from Macaulay's scores and Hanna's pursuit cause unexpected repercussions in a parallel narrative driving through the years following Heat. Heat 2 projects its dimensional and richly drawn men and women into whole new worlds from the inner sanctums of rival crime syndicate and the South American free trade zone to transnational criminal enterprises in Southeast Asia. The novel brings you intimately into these lives. In Michael Mann's heat universe, they will confront new adversaries in lethal circumstances beyond all boundaries. Heat 2 is engrossing, moving, and tragic, a masterpiece of crime fiction with the same extraordinary ambitions, scope, and rich characterizations as the epic film. So that's Heat 2. As you can see, it's quite a bit. Uh, it's a prequel and a sequel, which is pretty fascinating. Uh, according to the cover here, it says 1988, and then it says 2000. So I guess those are the two timelines that you're dealing with when you're reading this book. Um, and yeah, it's Michael Mann's first novel, so very fascinating. If you loved the movie Heat, this is probably a good thing to check out. Or if you're just into uh novel novels uh so have you ever watched heat what are your thoughts on the movie uh, are you eager to give this novel a try and see what it's all about and if you have read this book do you think they should go ahead and try and turn it into a movie with al pacino robert de niro val kilmer uh obviously you know some of those characters and uh may not may only appear in flashbacks but uh what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I think it's just a really fascinating idea. I love novelizations of films, but to have a novel be a sequel to a film, pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to check this one out myself. So if you want to get a copy of Heat 2, you can do so right now for 48% less than the regular price if you buy it on Amazon. So nearly 50% off. Pretty good deal, if I say so myself. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great day and happy reading.